Hello everybody and welcome to back to the iCode channel. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about the, um, uh, the Meister with the iCode uh, USB adapters that will help you connect your uh, retro, you know, original classic uh, Atari joystick, paddles, driving controllers and such to your favorite devices like uh, the Linux uh, PCs, Macs, um, and of course the uh, Meister. A lot of people wanted to know how to configure the Meister to work um, uh, perfectly with uh, your um, ICO device. So, um, you know, getting it to work, especially with the paddles, uh, requires very specific settings. So that's what I want to be talking about today. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and, um, you know, turn on my video capture on for the Meister here. And all right, the familiar screen. And, um, you know, when you first boot up your Meister, um, you know, make sure that uh, uh, you haven't selected any cores, you know, when you're in this uh, particular menu to pick the uh, emulation that you want, the machine that you want, the core, and then the, the actual games. Yeah, you want to make sure nothing's selected because if something's selected, then you're not setting the base settings for the keyboard and the, uh, and the paddles and it'll be just very core specific for that particular game and we don't want to do that we want to first set up the joystick for the core system uh, without loading any cores yet that way it'll default like that across all the applications so get into the uh, main menu and um, um, escape into the system settings menu um, you can see it says system settings and then find this option that says define joystick buttons and that's what you want to select but before you select joystick buttons make sure you've got your device turned on plugged in you know I've got my USB adapter here it's plugged into one of the USB ports of the Meister I've got a USB expansion card so I've got plenty of slots and then make sure your joystick is uh, connected to port 1 of the device you know these are labeled port 1 is on the right here and this particular device that I have is the um, the new one that's coming out in later in February um, it's the plus pro um, most people have the plus it doesn't have these additional uh, five-way toggle left right up and down and press and then these two buttons these are nice because it helps you connect to the keyboard commands and so on and you know I've got a map to left right uh, so I can you know move up and down with the menus with just a uh, you know without having to connect the keyboard but uh, it'll work fine with also the plus edition which doesn't have these extra buttons just the six buttons on the top um, so uh, that one will support the Maestro as well now the new firm firmware has a special mode to allow two-player paddle games as well and uh, so you're gonna have to update the firmware on here um, uh, I'll be posting instructions on that on the icode.com website but today um, I'm assuming uh, we're going to have the new latest firmware on there that supports uh, the dual uh, paddles as well and I'll show you how to configure that uh, real quick so before we get started as I said you know make sure you're in port one joystick is connected not paddles we'll connect the paddles afterwards now once you're here go ahead and press enter on your keyboard to define the joystick buttons now the first option here is talking about d-pad test we do not want to use d-pad at all because uh, d-pad is a digital pad and which means that uh, it's not going to uh, work with paddles if you use this and configure this because it's going to keep thinking that uh, your paddles moving left and right are just either all the way to the left or all the way to the right so it's really important that you skip uh, the d-pad test so as you can see um, you know, skipping is possible with pressing the space bar. So I'm going to go ahead and press space here. And then it's asking for a stick one test uh, with tilt to the right. These are for joysticks that have tilt capabilities, but still it's going to help the system at least know about your J joystick. So just go ahead and uh, push right on the joystick. And then it's asking for tilt down. So push down on the joystick. And then stick two test. Uh, you can go ahead and skip. So push space bar, okay. Now it's coming to your uh, joystick settings 
and um, notice the joystick ID, you know, that's the ID for this particular device, which is 0E8F3013. Um, just so you know that the, this is the joystick that it's connected to. If you've got other gamepad devices connected to a Mirror Meister, disconnect them while you do this. Uh, so this should be the only device when you first connect it. After you've configured it, you can connect them all back. But uh, it's important that uh, this will be the only device when you do this. Anyway, it's asking now for um, for right. Uh, so this is uh, going to be the joystick to the right side. And then left. I'm going to push the joystick to the left. And then down. And then up. Okay. Now it's asking for the buttons. Of course, I don't have four buttons on the Atari joystick. And this is really important. Do not pick A for your fire button. So I'm not going to press fire here. I'm going to uh, 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 save the fire button for button B because uh, that's what you want to use. Otherwise, your paddles will not work and you'll have trouble with you know all kinds of stuff. So leave that uh, to be put button B. So for button A, you know I like to use uh, uh, going from left uh, from right to left here. Uh, red will be A, um, X will be green, um, and Y will be white. Uh, the same order that's shown on the screen here. So I'm going to push um, A for uh, red. Okay. And then B is going to be my uh, joystick button. X is going to be the next one down here, the green. And then Y is going to be the white one. All right, and then it's asking for left and right. We don't really have left and right. You could map one of these, but I don't recommend it. I will recommend that you skip. So I'm going to push space bar to skip left and right because we don't have those. And then um, if you happen to have this model for select and start, I like to use these two buttons on the left and the right because I want to save these for other menu commands. But uh, if you don't have this one and you just have the plus edition, um, you can you know map the black to uh, select and then the blue to start. So, but I'm going to go ahead and since I have these buttons, I'm going to use these two here: select and start. And then it's asking about mouse. Um, mouse topic we'll we'll talk about on another separate video. Uh, this latest firmware does support mouse emulation, but I'm not going to get into that. Uh, at this point and I don't recommend you setting it up anyway for the Meister unless you're going to be doing uh, something else later on that we'll talk about for trackballs and so on but uh, for now we're going to go ahead and skip uh, the mouse by pushing the space bar mouse left skip down skip up skip and then mouse buttons I'm going to skip both of them I don't want any mouses all the mouses I'm just going to push space bar and then menu, since I've got these extra buttons, uh, you know, I'm going to go ahead and pick black. But if you use black and blue for your start and select, you probably want to use yellow for menu. I'm going to go ahead and use uh, black uh, for my purposes. All right. And then menu OK. Um, I'm going to use uh, uh, um, uh, the blue button you know you will have to skip that if you uh, already used some of these and you're gonna have to use your keyboard so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'm gonna do uh, and you can skip back as well but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, map it to uh, yellow here all right and then um, you know analog analog X um, you can just uh, uh, skip so I'm gonna skip analog X and log Y, uh, those are gone. Those are for tilting. They're not really for paddles, so don't confuse them with that. So that's pretty much um, it for the configuration. And now um, let's see, you know, how is it going to work with uh, uh, some of the games and so on. But you can um, do that by just going to loading your some of the cores. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go into my arcade here. And I'm going to go ahead and select console because I'm going to use the Atari 2600 uh, because I want to show you guys how maybe breakout works. Um, but before um, I press enter on 2600, um, and because um, 
I want to configure the uh, uh, the paddles. I'll be disconnecting the joystick shortly, but but actually, let's go ahead and start the Atari 2600. Uh, here's what it is. And by the way, if you just move the joystick a little bit, you'll see how it sees it as P1 for player one. And if you um, just take this joystick out from the hole and connect it to here, um, you'll notice that it picked up player two as well. So just do that so that the core picks up uh, both players. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and um, switch my joystick out and connect these paddles that I have here and uh, show you how it works. And uh, we're going to go ahead and press the combination buttons that are uh, resetting the, the device, these blue and black reset, and it'll detect the paddles here. All right. So, you know, you know, we've got the paddle controls here. So I'm going to move left and right on the screen. You can see um, on the screen, I'm going to show you a close up here. As I move the paddles, uh, these things work. It's important that you go all the way to the right and all the way to the left. Um, this thing has automatic calibration. So do that on both uh, paddles. You can see it'll, you know, move them up and down, uh, left and right, and, and, and those things spin. So I think we're in good shape here uh, for the paddles. And uh, now we're ready to uh, try it out. So let's uh, uh, load us ourselves a core. So, um, you know, I've got this button already uh, set up here. So I'm going to load the core. Press OK. And then I'm going to go down and pick uh, Breakout. All right. And press the uh, blue button for um, OK. All right, so here's a um, you know breakout. Um, what you'll notice um, initially is this is um, uh, the the paddle. So you can see as I move, you know, right, left, it's actually quite uh, uh, nice and smooth. Um, let me make it a little bit bigger for you guys so you can see it. So I've got my paddle here, and as I move to the right or left, you know, it's actually quite. Uh, responsive and you know I can go really fast left right left right and it's uh, you know doing a really good job and you can see Meister does a really good job and it's uh, basically uh, you know, pretty much jitter free um, you know you might get a little bit of control but you know if you've got really clean paddles um, it works really well uh, compared to uh, Stella on the PC, you know, those are pretty good too with this device. This device does a really good job of emulating paddles unlike most devices. Also, the responsiveness is quite nice. Um, there is a trick here that you can um, press uh, both the green and, uh, I'm sorry, the red and the yellow button simultaneously to turn off the display and the display gets paused and that even um, makes the system um, send uh, data uh, more rapidly to the uh, to the Meister, and uh, it'll um, even do a better job uh, with the with with the um, with the device. So you can see, you know, it's working uh, pretty well. Um, you know, I'm not going to play here because I've got only one hand, but uh, it's working quite well here. All right, now um, you know if you go to player two, the way it's set right now. It's uh, not going to work, but let me take it, uh, you know, put back display on. I'll uh, zoom in on the uh, device so you can see. All right, those two buttons will get the display back. Um, but, you know, second one button, does the, the second paddle is not going to work because, you know, unfortunately, um, typically what happens is uh, one of the paddles is connected to the X axis and one of the paddle, the other paddle is connected to the Y axis. And Meister doesn't really understand that. It wants um, the second player to be uh, the second port. And it, it expects both players to be using the x-axis. So if you have four paddles, you can connect the, your um, you know, second two paddles to the second port. And then you know, this, the, one of the paddles on this other port will act as player two. And that will work fine. But you know, a lot of people don't have those extra paddles uh, around. So there's a special mode when you got the paddles connected with the latest firmware. You can 
press while the paddles are connected, press the green and the red buttons together. And then you'll go into this uh, screen called the, the paddle calibration mode. Um, it has a lot of settings. It, you know, you know, it'll show you um, how the, uh, you know, as I move left and right, the, the, the value settings for the paddle. Uh, so it's uh, helping you see some of that. But uh, more importantly, um, there are some menu options here for um, uh, resetting the paddle calibration, uh, setting mins and maxes, which I don't want you to do at this point. Um, and right now it's asking for what, what is the maximum for player uh, for uh, paddle zero, which is the very first paddle. And you know, typically, if you've got a particular game and you, there's a lot of slack in uh, your paddles, you can on the game move to the rightmost position in that game, and then uh, do a set here, and it would set it. But uh, we're not going to do any of that. You know, the main thing I wanted to show you is uh, make sure that uh, uh, if you press this green button here, it's going to support what we call the Meister on mode. So you can see it'll toggle back and forth. So you saw that it said Meister on. If I press it again, it'll say Meister off. So when it's in Meister off mode, you can see um, the paddles are up and down and both are connected to this first port. But as soon as I do Meister on, now you can see, um, you know, one of the paddles went off. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, keep it in Meister mode on mode. And I'm going to exit by pressing the yellow button. And now um, if I do a reset uh, with a, uh, in that mode, now you can see uh, it actually takes uh, paddle, uh, one of the paddles is now on uh, port uh, one. And the second paddle is, uh, uh, you know, projecting it on port two. And both are the x-axis, the, the top is the x-axis and the bottom paddles are the y-axis. So this is fantastic because now uh, both of these are going to map correctly to my uh, Meister the way it wants to see it and it sees it on both joysticks. Both are mapped to the x-axis. So let's go back to our game and see if we can get it into two-player mode and, and check it out. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, you know, select two player mode by pushing one of my buttons here and I'm going to push start. All right. So, so we got, uh, you know, first player here and uh, I'm going to go ahead and lose. And then my second paddle now is uh, connected uh, nicely as well. Oops. I went too quick here. That's player one and player two. You can see I can move left and right. And, uh, you know, similarly, it's going to work uh, uh, perfectly. You know, there's a slight delay uh, right now but with the video streaming and recording. But, uh, you know, when I play it directly without any video capture, it's, uh, you know, almost instantaneously and uh, plays really, really well. So that's what I wanted to show you guys today. And um, if you've got questions, drop me a note and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you don't have one of these devices, you know, get them. And I hope you get them from www.ico.com. You know, they are available on Amazon and uh, eBay, but uh, it'd be nice if you bought them direct because uh, that'll uh, put more money into me helping creating more and more of these devices. So happy retro gaming, guys. And until next time, check us out. Bye-bye.